Part 2, Echoes of Eden The activation of the scout ship was a gamble that nearly cost them everything. The ancient engines sputtered and groaned, spewing out plumes of toxic fumes. Alara and her crew, clad in makeshift radiation suits, wrestled with the unfamiliar controls. Just as panic threatened to engulf them, the ship lurched forward, breaking free from the Ethon's docking bay. Their journey was fraught with peril. The nebula, a swirling sea of gas and dust, held dangers unseen. Cosmic storms buffeted the tiny ship, and once, a stray asteroid narrowly missed their hull, leaving a gaping scar on their only window to the outside world. But Alara's crew, fueled by a desperate hope, persevered. Guided by the ancient star charts, they navigated the treacherous nebula. Weeks bled into months, the desolate emptiness stretching endlessly before them. Doubt began to gnaw at their resolve. Perhaps the stories of Eden were just that, stories. Just as despair threatened to consume them, a faint blip appeared on their navigational console. A signal, weak but undeniable. Their hearts pounded with a mixture of trepidation and excitement. Could this be it? Alara adjusted the course, the ship straining towards the source of the signal. As they neared, the signal transformed into a breathtaking sight. A verdant planet, its atmosphere swirling with blues and greens, hung suspended in the darkness of space. Eden. Landing was a tense affair. The planet's dense atmosphere played havoc with their rudimentary controls. With a jarring shudder, the ship touched down on a grassy plain. Emerging cautiously, the crew was greeted by a symphony of chirps and buzzing wings. Strange, bioluminescent creatures flitted through the air, and towering trees with shimmering leaves reached towards a double sun-drenched sky. This wasn't Sigma Prime, but it was life. It was a chance. Here, they could rebuild, create a new home for their people. Alara knelt, her hand brushing against the soft, alien grass. Tears welled up in her eyes. After generations of wandering, they had finally found their haven. The journey back to the Ethon was long, filled with the excitement of sharing their discovery. The news revitalized the Sigmas. Hope, long dormant, bloomed anew. It would be a challenging task, preparing the Ethon for a mass exodus, but the prospect of a new world gave them the strength they needed. As the Ethon lumbered towards Eden, carrying the remnants of a people reborn, Elara looked out at the nebula. The swirling dust held not just memories of loss, but also the promise of a new beginning. The Sigmas, the Wanderers, were finally coming home.